In today's video, we're opening every gold series ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another golden video. And in this video, we are opening every single gold product English edition that's ever been made. Before we hop into it, I do have a giveaway. If you guys remember the every pack opening, I gave away this seal 10. Well, actually it was Ian Musa who actually gave it to me, a member of the channel, and this was not claimed. So you have one more chance to get this sealed gear free, the Iron Knight 10, we're gonna be re-giving it away. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know your favorite gold series of all these, and let me know about what we're about to talk about. Hey. Have you checked the community tab? On March 4th, I'm cutting off all giveaway claims because I'm getting overrun by giveaways. So make sure you claim it by March 4th or you will not be able to win your giveaway. So go to my YouTube channel, scroll over to the community tab, scroll down to all the different winners. You can control F, search your name if that helps because it might help you find it and scroll all the way for the past two, three years. See if you want anything because I'm getting overrun by extra giveaways that have not been claimed. If you don't claim it by March 4th, I'm officially taking it back for more giveaways and stuff like that. So I'm giving you guys about a week and a half to claim all of these so that I can clear out my area. <laughs> so the reason we're doing this special gold series video is this is my two year anniversary of daily uploads. I've uploaded a video on YouTube every day for the last two years. So I figured we'd do something really, really awesome, like open every gold series, including this weird pyramid edition one, which is impossible to really store or take a picture of or anything, because it's shaped like a triangle. Let's not delay any longer, let's get right into it. First of all, thank you guys so much for watching for two straight years, if you've been here the whole time. If you haven't, if you're new, thank you guys for showing up in that two year span. In the last two years, we have grown the channel a lot. We've done a lot of epic openings. And of course, we've had a lot of videos since I've uploaded every single day. So I hope you guys have liked the uh, the long term stuff. If you want to keep seeing daily videos, let me know in the comments. You know, should I continue this two year streak? Should I make it three years or should we scale back on the videos a little bit? So first, we're starting with Maximum Gold Eldorado, the most recent gold series. This came out in 2021. It's the most recent gold series. They didn't do one this year. So I don't know if gold series is done or not. They usually bring it back and stuff like that. So it'll probably be back at some point. We're going to start off with maximum gold El Dorado. Let me know in the comments which gold series you think will win. We're going to be doing a giant battle to see which one pulls the most value. Some of them only have like one pack and some have four, so we'll see. So we're starting off with maximum gold, four packs. Let's see if we can get something big. Deep Sea Diva, Conquistador, that's pretty decent. And Invoked Mechabo, one of my favorite cards for the Invoke deck. Very awesome. We got Hot Red Dragon Archfiend and Prank Kids Battle Butler. All right, second pack, Maximum Gold Eldorado. Let me know in the comments which gold series is going to win. Maximum Gold Eldorado does have the advantage of having four packs, so that helps. But a lot of the other ones have like mega packs. There's a Rocket Tracer, Lambda. We've got an Oracle of Zephra and Familiar Possessed Lena. Very cool. And a number 41, Baguska, the Terrible Tired Tapir. Third pack, not second pack. We have two more packs to go. Maximum Gold Eldorado, the newest gold series. Rainbow Neos was a great card until it got reprinted here. It kind of killed the value. Danger Nessie, that's a nice card. We got Super Express Bullet Train. And Ivalzor Lagia, that is a nice dinosaur card. And of course, speaking of dinosaurs, then a shooting code talker. Okay, one left for Maximum Gold Eldorado. Can we get that access code? Uh, I haven't pulled access code in forever. I always bring it up and I never pull it. We have Ace of Raxi. Okay, back to back golds. We have Scrap Chimera and Rescue Cat. Pretty decent one. Actually, a good card. Uh, people play that in Master Duel a little bit. I've been back on the Master Duel train. So if you guys want to watch the Master Duel, check out my Twitch channel. We've been doing a lot more streams of that. I don't know. I just got the Yu Gi Oh bug, guys, and I'm back. I'm back in the Master Duel game. Okay, on to our next gold series. So we have our total of maximum gold Eldorado. Now we're on a regular maximum gold. This came out in 2020, November 12th to be exact. So maximum gold. This was a pretty sick set when it first came out. I mean, people, it was pretty. It's pretty controversial because the new gold rarity, so a lot of people don't like it. I've done multiple videos on this, just regular like gold, ver new versus old gold and stuff like that. And uh, some people like it, some people hate it. A lot of people hate it actually. This one has the same setup as Maximum Gold Eldorado, it has four packs inside. So we're gonna open them up, see what we can get. Who will win this battle? Will it be Maximum Gold Eldorado? Will it be Maximum Gold? Will it be neither? Artifact Lancia, good card. We have an upside down shared ride, super polymerization, another good one, and then a Grapha for those Dark World decks. Three to go. Will we pull something epic out of Maximum Gold Borosol Dragon? That's pretty epic. Alternate art, we got number 39, Starlight Junction, and Infernity Mirage. This is another one that kind of killed the value. That was a super rare for like 10 bucks for a while. And then they're like, nah, 
We'll put it in gold series, which is a good thing because it was a $10 super, which is ridiculous. Two to go, maximum gold. Will we get, what is the big card in here? I don't think it's access. I think access code is Eldorado. So I don't remember what the big one was. I know there's like blue eyes and dark magician, obviously. We've got the Ash Blossom. That's pretty good. That's a great pull. That'll give him a chance to win. I'm not going to lie. Cosmo Town. I'm sure it's worth about eight bucks or something like that. One more pack. Maximum gold. Can you perform for our two year anniversary special? There could only be one. We got Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion alternate art. Very cool. Machine Dupe. Transcode Talker for a new Mirage again. Okay, so not a terrible mini box. Getting that Ash Blossom is pretty good. We got a Link Karibo as well. Now we're going back in time a little bit. There was a pretty big gap between premium gold and maximum gold. It was March 17th, 2016. So St. Patty's Day, we got a little premium gold action. So yeah, it's been a long time. So if they do take a break from, from gold, you know, they've done this before. So we might see more gold maybe in 2025, you know, something like that if they do four years later, like they did with this one. So premium gold, infinite gold. I think this is premium gold they have like three packs inside baby let's see the originals they only have one i think so premium gold we've got yeah definitely multiple packs one two three it looks like okay very cool looking packaging i'm a big fan of this i like it more than the maximum gold where it's gigantic and just very awkward this is a lot smaller still a little excessive but at least reasonable i think all right premium gold infinite gold some of these have some really nice looking cards so i think premium gold infinite gold might be the one where it's a little excessive like they've got that really shiny name i'm not a fan of like how shiny the name is but i do like the gold i think it looks pretty nice oh that was a ruxin special right past the secret gold rare the black horn of heaven yeah this is the, the little bit crazy mass change two stardust charge where yeah look how crazy the gold series is i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the gold secret rare there it's just really hard to read the name my my phone is not focusing i got a new phone and uh, i need to adjust the settings a little bit very nice we got a dante pilgrim of the burning abyss shout out farfa very nice little pack there i don't know if any of those are really worth anything though two more packs infinite gold let's pull something awesome first card is so here's the problem i can't read them if I don't know the card, I don't know what it is. This is a uh, Draco Slayer card, but I can't read it because it's so shiny. Grand Horn of Heaven Secret Rare. Another Horn of Heaven card for the Gold Secret. We've got to remove Brainwashing. That's an old school card. They got to reprint. Pretty. <laughs> she looks very confused. I mean, she is brainwashed, so it makes sense. But yeah, I guess that's pretty good artwork. Shining Hope Road Secret Rare. I'm, I don't even remember seeing this card ever. I'm sure I have, but... Oh, and we've got a burning of another burning abyss card, but I don't remember the name. Um, Virgil, I think maybe is the name. Very nice. If I remember correctly, this is one that doesn't have any crazy high value cards. But the thing with gold series is they usually have a lot of like few dollar cards, which makes them nice. Castle the Sky Blaster Musketeer is a very good one. Cosmo Farm Girl. That's a secret rare. Very nice for the Cosmos. Yeah, this might be the one with all the Cosmo reprints. Monarch Stormforth for the Monarchs was really good around then. Number 84, Ping Gainer. Oh, that's a cool looking uh, spider. Reminds me of the Hobbit. And, oh, we got a Calcar middle bunch of the Burning Abyss. So this is basically Burning Abyss and Cosmo, it seems. If I had to guess, I'd say Premium Gold, Infinite Gold is probably not going to win. Next up, we have the Premium Gold Return of the Bling. Premium Gold Return of the Bling came out March 19th, 2015. So this is a pretty nice one. There's some pretty cool stuff in Return of the Bling. Uh, we're going to open this up. I love the presentation of this one. I think it's one of the best looking gold series. It just looks clean. It's a really nice box. Okay. Okay, three packs. Pretty sure these are not first edition. I didn't really pay attention to that, but uh, unlimited. It's so cool. Let's see what else we can get. I didn't even, I guess they did an unlimited run. We have Parallel Twister. Very nice. That's pretty. We have Absolute King Blackjack or Backjack. I think this was like, it was like three bucks that it got a reprint. Still pretty decent. Master Hyperion. Don't think it's too great. Tumble of the Kings. That's a classic throwback to Odeon. And a Sylvan Se Sequoia, Sequoia. I don't know how to say that. Okay, I don't. I don't know if anything's too crazy in there. Two more packs, five cards per pack. So not a ton of packs, or not a ton of cards. About 15 cards per mini box. Number 14, we have the Greedy Serame. Okay, we got the Ghost Cannon, the Underworld Boatman. All right, a little One Piece action. Rank up Magic Numeron Force. Ceasefire, old school Pharaoh Servant card getting a print and rekindling okay i'm not seeing anything that i'm like crazy about but i do like the look of these cards make sure to let me know in the comments the best gold series in terms of look from all these all these 10 i guess there's 10 of them i want to know the best looking of all 10 stardust respark that's a secret rare very nice junk giant pretty cool elemental hero neos alias cool it can print for you know if you're playing that edison 
Veil of Darkness, and Mystical Beast of Circuit. Very nice. Pretty cool card. I'll give him that. It's a pretty cool card, but I don't think we pulled anything crazy there. Now we're on to the original premium gold, which is not the original gold, but the original premium gold. So maximum gold usually came out in November or December. Usually, I think it was November. The premium golds looked like they always came out in March, which is interesting. So they, they switched up that strategy. This one came out March 27, 2014. All right, let's get this thing open and let's see. I think there's going to be three packs inside because it is a premium gold and it seems like that was the consistency they stuck with. It seems like they kind of have a little series. So maximum gold had four packs, came out in different times. Premium gold had three packs, came out at a certain month or whatever. So it seems like these were the reprint pack of March because like for a long time, we got a March reprint set. Now they've kind of turned into the ghost from the past or whatever. But it seems like these used to be what you would get. You just get premium gold because there are a lot of reprints in here. Let's see if we can get something big. Premium gold, little warped here. We got some warp action. Forbidden Chalice, that's a beautiful card. Uh, Dynatherium, also cool. The Junk Puppet. Mystical Space Typhoon, one of the 100 prints, but it still looks good. And Exploder Dragon, pretty good in Speed Duel for a while. Pretty nice looking gold. I really like these premium. They're, they just get better and better. Each time we go backwards one, it's like they got worse slowly as it went along. Okay, second premium gold pack. Let's get something big. Can we pull a huge card? We have a Gaga Magician, that's not huge. Utopia Buster, also not huge. We have a, oh, a little shiny here. We've got the Diab Diablo Dragon. I don't know. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Nice for those Edison and Goat decks. And Swords of Revealing Light. A classic gold series card. Well, just a classic card in general. Nice. Maybe a little bit of value there. And then the final pack of our premium gold first edition. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, nice. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Looks very nice in gold. I like that. We have a Silent Wobby. A little fish action. Ancient Fairy Dragon Alternate Art. Hey, came off the ban list. So it might be worth a little bit. Raiko the Lightsworn Hunter. I might put this in my uh, my Lightsworn deck. That's a nice version. And then an Icarus Attack, if you want to use that. What is this, Black Wings? You can use that. So that's a nice version as well. Pretty nice pulls. All right, a little halftime. Here's going to show you the scores of what we have so far. Let me know if you think something in the future is going to beat it. Speaking of future, the next one up is Gold Series Haunted Mine. This gold series came out June 6th of 2012. So this is pretty old, over 10 years old at this point. This does have a guaranteed ghost rare, so it's gonna be hard to beat this one. It's gonna have to pull like the worst ghost rare to give some of these a chance, to be honest. So let's see what we can pull from Haunted Mine. Out of, we already opened the other four packs from this. We did get a blue eyes, but you can get two or three blue eyes in a, in a pack. So it doesn't really matter or a case, I should say. All right, gold series. Here we go. Ghost rare guaranteed inside of here. We have a lot of cards. So like we're get, we're to the point where it's only one pack. So not multiple packs. They get one chance to pull something epic. So let's see what we can get. I remember the ghost rare is in the middle somewhere. We got a Rux and special right off the bat. We're not going to care too much about the comments here. We're just going to go through them. We got vampire lady. There's some cool stuff like hidden spellbook might be worth a buck. Uh, copy night. Body Met of Apophis. I think Don's Luke's in here. It's worth a dollar. It's coming up. There it is. It is another Blue Eyes. Let's go. The double Blue Eyes display. Shout out to Old School Expert for selling me this, by the way. Wow. He sold me a double Blue Eyes display. And this one does not have the ding on the side like the video the other day. Go check that one out if you guys missed that. But we had a little damage on the side. I'm not seeing any damage here. Wow, a double blue eyes display. Talk about a nice special for two years, two, two years, two year anniversary of uploading. That is amazing. A great pull. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to beat that. All right, the rest of the cards, we have gold rares. We have a fabled and a master Hyperion. Nothing too insane there. This is actually a nice card for Edison, Book of Light, or not Edison, I should say Goat. Uh, anything else crazy I wanna pull out? Lady in White's not bad and Patrician of Duck. All right, that was a great pull, but we still have four more to open. We are on to June 22nd, 2011, Gold Series 4 Pyramids Edition, one of the weirdest products ever. It is literally a pyramid. I mean, it makes sense because it's Yu-Gi-Oh, but let's open this thing up. I don't even think they sealed these. It's very weird. Yeah, like this is the seal. It's very strange. Um, so we're going to open that up. There's a mat that they give you. It's very bent up though. So it probably never flattens out to be honest. Then you get one pack right here. Gold Series 4 Pyramids Edition. So a giant package to give you that mat and this. And that is it. So it's very strange. Uh, yeah, pretty weird product. Will we pull something? Oh, it's right at the beginning. Oh no. Okay, let's not ruin the rest of them. So let's do... Uh three i think like that and okay we'll go like this we'll just go through the rest of them trade in that's a good card that might be worth a little bit i'm gonna pull that out more Malith beast king of the swamp anything else <laughs> deck devastation virus pendulum machine very cool we have a chance at crush card coming up so ooh, tune dark magician girl injection fairy lily those could be worth something as commons i'm gonna pull those out Robin goblin millennium shield i'm gonna keep that just for the personal you got a white horn dragon and lich lord okay so a lot of cool cards in there, but now here's what really matters. We got a trap stunner at the beginning. We already saw that. That's nice uh, for Black Wings and a lot of like Glad Beasts use this as well in Edison. 
Royal Oppression. I bet that's big because even the uh, first edition rare from LOD is like 12 bucks. That's probably pretty good. And then Morphing Jar. Not a bad pack. Pretty good performance there from the Pyramids edition. You also get to add uh, the uh, the mat, I guess. Well, we're not going to do that probably. The mat's probably only worth five bucks, but maybe we'll throw it in there. On to Gold Series 3. We're up to June or back, I should say, to June 17th, 2010. Gold Series 3. This is OG. We opened some of this the other day in another video. If you want to see more of it, make sure you check that video out when we opened Gold versus Ghost. I think it was gold ghost and new we did gold series three one pack inside will we pull something big something epic there's some pretty cool stuff in gold series three let's see if we can get it all right gold series three i believe that we can pull oh it's right at the beginning yeah yeah okay i won't I, you guys might have seen it but uh we'll cover it up if you, if you could have seen it we'll have the editor cut it up here we go we go like this we have freya Miss Valley, Sirocco. There's so many black wings I remember. Yeah, there's a ton of black wings. Amazonas is cool. Aegis of Gaia. This is bringing back early Duel Links memories. We got uh, Amazonas. We've got Dramatic Rescue. Blackwing Kalut. There you go, Simo. We got to keep that for Simo. We've got the Amazonas Archer. Goblin Zombie. Reset. Malicious. That's a good card. Low Piper and Boar of the Spirit. A lot of black wings. Basically, the black wing set. All right, now we have our three gold rares. We have Exploder Dragon again. Why does this keep getting gold prints? That's weird. Okay. Mizuki, nice for those zombie decks, and a smashing ground. Okay, now we're getting to this, you know, it's Edison time, it's 2010, so all the good cards of medicine are getting reprints now, which makes sense. So not a bad Gold Series 3 pack. Only two Gold Series left. We're on to Gold Series 2009. This is from April 21st, 2009. These are some of my favorite looking ones, the Gold Series 2. So I think they look really nice. Let's check them out. Let's see if they live up to my uh, my memory of them, my recollection. Pretty interesting looking pack. I mean, it, I don't know. It's a little bit too gold for me. It looks a little weird. I don't know. It's kind of yellow. Also, this one's weird. It's got the things on the edges. I don't know. I don't love the look of that one. I think it's okay. Gold Series 2009. Let me know your favorite packaging as well. Favorite packaging, favorite look of the cards, you know, everything like that. Okay, it might be at the front. So I'm going to do three. It seems like it is because it came off pretty easily. Okay, we're going to go through these. We have six Samurai Zanji, Volcanic Shell. These, like, shuffle a lot better. I don't know what the word for that is. We got Wild Horn, six Samurai United, Warrior Elimination, Nasashi. Literally, they just have, like, themes, you know, like the entire deck, basically. Giant True Nade's decent. Come on, a Compulsory Evacuation Device. Grand Margin here, cool. That Solos in here is a common Begon name. We got Iru, we got Lakunga, Zaborg. That's pretty nice. Neos Alias and Exile of the Wicked. So a lot of Monarchs. That's awesome. All right. The Moment of Truth are three Gold Series 2009 Gold Rares. We have Future Feud. That looks good. Look at those. They like shine so well. This is my favorite Gold Series, I think. Future Fusion. Des Volstglauf. I think I pulled this in my first every pack opening. So that's a cool memory. And then... A Veil of Darkness, a Glass Secret Rig in the reprint. Wow, and look at the edge around like the, the border of the picture. The frame, I guess you would call it. That is awesome. That looks so good. Once again, I want to thank everyone who's been around for two years or even less, but just thank you guys for supporting for so long. It's been amazing, and I'm really amazed by the growth of the channel. It's been really awesome. So thank you guys for all the support over the years. Let's get into this final Gold Series, the original 2008. Gold Series, the OG Gold Series from April 2nd, 2008. This one can contain the Crush card, which is very, very hard to pull so if we do pull it it's going to be insane so let's go for it our last pack of this video hope you guys have enjoyed this two-year anniversary special i definitely have with some pretty awesome pulls so far if we pull a crush card that is the that would be insane let's see if we can do it so if you remember with simo they like kind of went in order this thing is beat up man look at this wow very beat up hopefully the cards inside are not beat up gold series the original there's nothing after it's just gold series it's the original one i don't remember where the gold rares are I think they're actually at the back. Here we go. We have Doom Dozer, Final Pack, Swarm of Locusts, Rivalry, Good Yard, Rare Metal Dragon, Needleworm. Hopefully we do get that uh, um, Skill Drain, which was in last time when we pulled a bunch of them. Fire Princess, Mist Body, Old Vindictive is a good card. Seven Colored Fish, including the Lips. We've got Non-Spell Casting Area, New Doria, Special Type 8's good. Silva, Scarab, Swarm of Scarabs. There's a the Skill Drain, that's beautiful. It's a nice card. It's worth like 10 bucks or something. Nightmare Penguin, Eight Claw Scorpion, Needle Ceiling. We're getting close. Regenerating Mummy, Summoner of Illusions. Here it comes. Okay. Brain Control. So look, this got the nice shine to it as well. I think 2009 looks a little better though because they don't have the frame in this one, which is shiny. This still looks good. Brain Control. Ooh, give us Crush Card. Okay, Chimera Tech, beautiful. Remember we pulled one of was super scratched up with Simo. Go check that out if you guys missed that Simo video. Pretty cool, it was a pretty good one. And finally, 
Ooh, a cyber dragon. I'll take that. That's beautiful. A cyber dragon. Gold rare. Great way to end this off. I've really enjoyed opening every gold series. If you had, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this.